So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titans. More specifically, we're going to be looking at the Iron Lord set. So if you guys don't know, we already reviewed the armor. It's right here. And we've also already showcased the shaders, which is right here. We've also already done the Hunter video, which is right here. So for this video, we're going to be looking at the Iron Lord's pieces and then make individual sets with those pieces if, you, if this is your first video. So let me know what you guys think. Remember to like, comment, sub because it really does help my channel. Um, I do think my channel is worth me asking in the beginning because I post a lot of content, a lot of info about just armor sets. I've also just showcased a lot of my own armor sets as well. And I also do exotic. I do a lot of content. So hit the bell notification if you want to keep up to date with my current content. Other than that, let's look at the video. Other than that, let's look at the helmet. So for the helmet, Britomart's this helmet, it's the fucking name Lord set, I think is pretty cool. Uh, that being said, it is really annoying to make another set with. This one, I'm going to be honest with you guys, is a very much a uh, filler set that I've made in the past. Uh, this is one of those sets that you can really mix and match a lot of the pieces. But I think the most important pieces will be Jensen Knight and the Virtuous Mark. Other than that, you can really mix and match with any other piece. For the arms, we're going to be using Doomfang Pauldrons, Chest Piece, Devastation Complex, and then again, like I said, Jensen Knight Greaves with the Virtuous Mark. I think this combo is so amazing because the Jensen Knight Greaves, um, I like the fact that it's like super like textured on the thighs and then there's nothing on the actual like crotch. So that's where Virtuous Mark comes in. It actually covers that. For the chest piece, I like the fact that there's fur on there, but I also like the fact that the stomach is black as well. Same thing with the arms. The under armor is black, so it kind of makes it feel like it's all like a big jumpsuit, which is what I'm going for. And then to make this like a night look, I am using the helmet. So let me know what you guys think about this one. I really, really like this one. For the shader, Grand Luster is what we're using just because A, um, I think it looks really good with the gold and the white. This should have purple in there, but I've from what I've noticed, the purple is the off color. And honestly, I'm not really too bothered considering the Virtuous Mark has feathers that don't change color. So that's where the purple comes in with the Doom Fangs as well. As for the next set, we're going to be using the chess piece. And this one, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't really care for this one. Um, I think it's cool, but it's definitely a variant of a set that I made before. If I have it up, um, if I remember, I'll have it up right now so that way you guys can see it. But I don't know which one I like more. That being said, I like the fact that I'm using Iron Bones shader just because it's one of my favorite shaders. But for the helmet, Iron Companion Helm is what we're using. Devastation Complex Arms for the arms. The Silmer's Iron Plate for the boots. We're going to be using the, Stan the 44 Stanisides, I think they're called. And then the Nightly Noir Mark. So I like a lot of this. It's very, very night themed in my opinion. The only thing that I could probably switch out would be the arms. That being said, I actually don't mind them. I think they look pretty cool. Maybe you want to switch them out for something else because the Devastation Complex and the PvP variant of it have different uh, sizes. So if I remember correctly, the Devastation Complex is smaller, if I remember correctly. Either way, I think this one is pretty cool. But I don't want to say it's the L yet because I don't remember the two other ones. But it's definitely... Not as good as the first one. Let me just say that. As for the next set, we're going to be using Lorelei Splendor. Now, this one is pretty interesting considering we're going to be combining it with the Solstice Plate and the Radiant Breaker Marks. So that way we can get some of that fire in there. And it's the same thing as the Hunter. If you guys haven't seen the Hunter video, definitely check it out because it's kind of the same thing. Kind of the same issue, I would say, is the fact that the arms and the boots, I kind of don't really like. And I combine it with something that I knew I was going to like. So this one's definitely the L of the group because at least the other one before it was unique enough for me to be like, OK, like I, I like this one. This one, however, I am trying to make it look cool with the exotic, which is, again, Lorelei Splendor with the chest piece and Radiant Breaker Mark. And I don't think it's doing a good job because with this look, I feel like you really need a lot of fire for this one, or at least a lot of glow in it, so that way it can look really cohesive. So definitely not saying that you can't combine it with other pieces and it's gonna look cool. It's just for me, I didn't wanna waste time on trying to make some cool sets with these two because I already have like, I already had a few in mind for the other pieces. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, 
we are going to be utilizing the mark and if you guys know my content you guys will know that i rarely make a whole set with just the class item specifically for the titans and warlocks so for me to use just the class item for this one is kind of a big deal because i think it came out amazing this is also an old set that i made i don't even remember what video if i if i can find it i'll have it up right now but for the helmet we're gonna be using desolation diver helm for the arms atavastic idol gauntlets for the chest piece shadows plate for the boots bayant leaps we're gonna be using and then finale's iron mark for the mark which is again the iron lord set so i think this is a banger of a set for the shader royal die is where we're going to be using so that way it combines really well with the shadow plate because if you guys don't know shadow plate the like gold on the front does not change color and the purple stone doesn't change color and fortunately for me royal die combines all of those colors it's basically that shader which is super dope so i am really happy with this set. it's one of my favorite sets that i've made i think the only difference is i was using it maybe a different boot either hopefully i can find that video because i don't remember using those boots for this one but either way i do think this looks amazing let me know what you guys think i definitely think this is the the winner of the group this is the dub just because it looks that cool that being said i still think the first one is pretty cool and the second one to a certain extent is really cool third one is definitely an l but this one looks amazing let me know what you guys think i will have a lot of content for you guys because i'm currently working up the calendar for this stuff and man not only do i have these videos to make the warlock videos coming up uh, tomorrow hopefully but i also make a short for these so that way for those of you who don't want to just hear me talk all this i do have short versions or shorter versions of this which basically are shorts and it's just me showcasing the armor that's really it so I do appreciate you guys coming up to my content or specifically this video because it just helps the algorithm a lot and honestly I'm really trying to grow the channel. I'm really sad that this channel didn't hit 4,000 by the end of last year but we got so close to be fair I wasn't really, really like saying like oh we're about to hit 4,000 and all that. I wasn't really saying that but this year I will be saying that because I would like to start documenting that. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.